Good morning, and welcome to Molden Catholic High School's Morning Prayer for Wednesday, April the 8th. Today we celebrate the feast day of St. Julie Billiard, who was born on July 12, 1751 in Couvelie, France. Her family had a farm and also owned a drapery shop. As a girl, she could be found teaching catechism to other children, and this became her vocation. The failure of her family's business in her teen years and the shock of witnessing the attempted murder of her father when she was 21 left Julie severely weakened. By the age of 31, she was unable to walk and eventually became bedridden, yet she never lost her spirit. When the French Revolution started a few years later, she hid fugitive priest. This put her in danger and she was forced to flee her home. In 1794, when she was 43, she went to Amiens, where she met François Ligne de Bourdon, later known as Mother St. Joseph. The two, under the direction of Father Verine d'Anville, founded a religious community that developed into the Sisters of Notre Dame de Namur. The new order was dedicated to the Christian education of girls and poor children and the training of religious teachers. Under the direction of Julie, the order flourished and she became superior general. In 1804, after a novena during a mission in Amiens, a priest ordered Julie to walk. After being an invalid for 22 years, St. Julie Billiard did walk. She died on April 8th in 1816 in Amour, Belgium at the age of 66. At the time of her death, 15 convents had been established by the sisters of Notre Dame de Namur. Her favorite saying was, how good is the good God? So now let us begin our Malden Catholic prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God of all, we ask your blessings on this day. We pray that we may become men and women of simplicity, humility, compassion, trust, and zeal. Let our work today and every day be a reflection of your love. May all that we do serve to strengthen the Malden Catholic family and the world. Lord, help us to imitate the model provided by Theodore James Riken and the Zaverian brothers, so that we too may fall in love with serving one another. And in doing so, build your kingdom on earth. All this we ask through the intercession of St. Francis Xavier. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.